We're asking questions about free will in the brain. This is one of these very deep questions that has been argued for millennia. Do we have free will or don't we? We're using neuroimaging technology where we're able to look inside the brain non-invasively and ask questions about where the activity is in the brain. And what we're asking subjects to do here is something extremely simple. This is probably the simplest test around. It's, uh, it's dark and you just, you just zen out and think about when you want to press a button. All right, Abigail, you ready? In this way, we're, by examining and teasing apart the different neural signatures in these conditions, we are going to get some deep insight into this issue of free will and how the brain makes decisions. Okay, these are the two button boxes. I'm going to place one in each hand, put you in, and, um, and, and if you feel, just to, we're, we're standing right here, so if you feel nervous, if you feel the plus program, you just take a step. You might have to pull your arms. That will be right outside. Okay, great. All right, if you're ready to move as much as you want right now, just kind of get comfortable. And then once this first scan starts, really try and stay as still as possible for the whole time you're in there. All right, here we go. Essentially what we think is going on is subjects are never acting freely to do what they want because they're so concerned about acting random. So if we say, you know, hit it at the time you're choosing, what happens is they don't want to get themselves in a rhythm and instead what they do is they're implicitly, parts of their brain are paying a lot of attention to what they did last time. And so as a result, what's happening is um, if they've waited a longer or a shorter amount of time than they did last time, we get very particular brain signals going on. So even though subjects may not be consciously aware that they're comparing their actions to what they did previously, that seems to be what's going on.